Okay, so the internet is a magical place where anything can inspire anyone to go on and create great things. Well, I must say that I am truly inspired myself now because an indie developer had the bright idea to go about and harass the creator of Minecraft in a special way. Her name is Amber Cole, a bright spark of sunshine on the thunderclouds that is my life. Amber decided that Mr. Minecraft himself wasn't doing enough with his money to support people he probably has never met and couldn't give a fuck about, and began to tweet him with some nice fluffy things, which I'll try to repeat in funny voices. <coughs> it's time for some heavy voice acting. <coughs> I sometimes wonder if Minecraft didn't create more content because they rely so heavily on the mod community to drive sales. Now, how would how would uh, Mark Pearson sound, you know, in a funny accent? <coughs> well, well, well. I guess we'll go with that. Well, to be fair, it's sold more on platforms where modding isn't possible than uh, than it has on the PC, Mac, and Linux. Lol, blah 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 blah. blah. We're ahead of you. I have sublime. Text, paint net, and about ten other tabs of documentation over. Open right now. <laughs> Scroll down. I need to read more. Friend, I have made more games in the past year, while one hundred k in debt, than you have. Than you have. What the fuck did you write? Then you have. Uh, friend, I have made more games. In the past year, while 100k in debt, than you have with all your wealth, influence, and power. <laughs> you have enough money to spare to fund every single one of my experimental indie devs' friends for the decade. Great job. Keep it up. Yeah, here you are, defending your ego on Twitter. Fuck off. Holy shit! Fuck you! Seriously, dude. You could blink and take care of me and a bunch of my marginalized forgotten indie devs for years to come. Yet here you are, being a cunt. Holy shit. My PayPal is blah 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 blah. I'm a marginalized trans developer and I think you owe me reparations for having slain me this morning. I did that by congratulating you on a productive year. Oh! Slap me down, slap me down. Okay. I think I did a good job representing them there. And after the internet found out that the Playboy of Pixels was being attacked, the internet went on its merry way to harass the little lady. And to make matters worse, Twitter banned her account, which honestly... This woman represents the American dream to receive millions of dollars for doing absolutely nothing. That's what she's aspiring for. That's America. And I wish every place was like that. How many of you would piss on the Minecraft mogul's house if there was a pot of gold at the end of that fucked up rainbow? Exactly. Pretty much all of you. I just wish that I could have thought of it first. That way, I can play the oppression card on YouTubers who have a higher view and subscriber count than I do. They are oppressing me with their higher numbers, and as such, I deserve reparations, and they should give me money. So what if I don't deserve it? So what if I haven't earned it? I am the oppressed minority here on YouTube, and that's good enough for me to bitch and complain about it. Anyway... I'd like to think that Miss Amber Cole was just trolling around the internet and was never being serious about those tweets. Either that or I am confusing self-entitlement with sarcasm. I confuse a lot of things, so that's not, that might not be surprising. But either way, she fucked up royally, and the followers of the Minecraft Money Magician came after her very hard. So, for as much attention as she got from this, I don't see it really being able to benefit her. Because there is a difference between being internet famous and being internet infamous. So I'd like to tell Miss Amber Cole to get off Twitter. Which is the title of this video series that I do. But since she was banned from Twitter, 
I guess that won't be a problem for a while. You all have a blessed day.